Hello students, welcome to the YouTube channel, Eternal AC Education. In this session, you are going to learn Chapter 5, Hypertext Preprocessor, shortly PHP. Content of the session is PHP functions. So what is a function? In most of the programming language, a block of segment in a program that performs a specific operation task is said to be a function. This segment is also known as function. Function is a type of subroutine or procedure in a program. Simply, a program is a set of instruction. First point. The program, for example, if it is of 500 lines, a function is a sub-program. That means a program is splitted Splitted in the sense a set of instructions or separated with a with a block of name with a function name and it is said to be a function block. Why it is separated means a particular particular lines will do a task. If the particular task is going to be repeatedly done in many places means the particular function is separated and it is used in many places. So, only the need of function arises in programming language. With the use of function, two things can be achieved in programming. One is the length of the program is reduced. Next point, reusability of code. Set of coding is reused many times. So, two things can be achieved with the help of function in any programming language. The concept of function, usage of function is same for any programming language, whether it is C, C++, PHP, Python, JavaScript, anything else. The con concept of function is same. Here we are going to learn the syntax that means how to use function in PHP. What is the procedure? Actually, function is a big concept in PHP, but in your book it is given only a little. So, in this session, I am going to explain only the content which is in your 12th standard book. So, in your book, predefined or system or built-in function. Types of function, here they are given as three titles. One is predefined or system or built-in function. All are same. Next one is user-defined function. Next one is parameterized function. They are given the divisions like three. So, what is predefined function? PHP has over 1000 built-in functions that can be called directly. What is the meaning of called directly? You will understand this point when you learn user-defined function. Here function is going to perform a specific task. For example, we have used many library functions in many programming language. In your Java script, in your 11th standard also, the important 5 mark question pop-up windows, prompt, alert, these are all built-in functions. So likewise, here also there are many functions. Uh, I have given only two examples. One is for math function, abs square root, abs for absolute value. Another one is php mysql function. Under this, we are having many functions. I have given two examples, affected row and commit. Actually, this PHP MySQL function is a separate chapter in your syllabus. So, in that chapter, we will discuss this in detail. Now, what is user-defined function? User-defined function is, instead of that square root ABS, user is going to create a new function. How to create that function keyword followed by a function name? This name is given by the user. That is our choice. Open parenthesis, close parenthesis followed by open curly brace, statements, close curly brace. So, this is the definition part of PHP. So, below that is the calling a PHP function. Here, we have to give function name, open parenthesis, close parenthesis, followed by a semicolon. Only the calling of function is done in predefined function because we will call the name alone. We don't know the definition part that is in hidden place. So, this is said to be library function. But in user defined function, we have to define. Uh, when the function is called, this definition is executed. Even though if you define many functions, 
without the calling statement it remains uh, without of usage next part parameterized function information can be passed into functions as arguments arguments are specified after the function name function function name arguments are given after the function name inside the parenthesis parenthesis open parenthesis close parenthesis you can add as many arguments as you want i can give any number of arguments just separate them with the comma parameter is also called as arguments it is like variables function function name within the bracket i have to save the arguments as usual open curly brace close curly brace between that statements this is parameterized function so we'll see with an example in php as you know you have to start exam server before executing the php program i have uh, i have typed all the program previously because to consume that time and to avoid the keypad noise so built in function can you see example of built in function it is comment you know what is meaning of comment it will not be used by the interpreter echo square root of 25 dot square root of 25 this square root of 25 is the function call of library function another one is minimum function minimum min value equal to min of array values that means it is having more than one value among the list we are going to find the minimum value so echo minimum value is dollar minimum value so you know how to execute the php program go to the browser type http colon double slash local host followed by the function name here the function name is built from dot php so square root of 25 is 25 and minimum value is 2 because among the array the given value is a uh, given value 2 is the minimum number so we can change the number and we can find out the answer if you make any changes you have to save the file and refresh the browser can you see the number changed he, even in square root also we are changing the number and checking the answer here we don't know we don't know how the square root is founded but just we are calling the function and getting the answer that is built-in function now we'll see what does user defined function that means we are going to give a user name and we are going to set what the function has to do welcome to python programming first line followed by break that means next thing should be come with the next line break to make the cursor next line function keyword followed by the function name sample within the function name it is a co user definition defined function this is in the this is inside the function from this place to this place it is function definition this is function call so this is set to be function call and this is set to be function definition inside the function definition only one line is given user defined function so now execute the program the function that means the program name is user def so user def dot php so welcome to php programming as the function is called user defined function also printed if i command this function call you will not get the output even though definition is present without the call function it is useless so we have to call the function to make it execute understand the point this definition part is not present in library function next type is parameterized function giving arguments within the function 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 name within the parenthesis we have to say the arguments here i am using two arguments dollar x dollar y that means you have to mention the variable name here the dollar x dollar y sum and stored in dollar z return dollar z means return the value 
when where the function is called the value is returned to the same place that is the meaning of return so here the function is called with the two value 5 comma 10 when we run the program we'll get the output as 5 is given to x 10 is given to y so 5 plus 10 the value will be 15 you can have another statement also with another arguments like a 50 plus 15 so we can change the argument inside the function call a function can be called any number of times in the program definition is once but function call can takes place many times so can you see the another output here so 50 and 15 65 so we have learned three types of functions built-in user defined parameterized it is a good practice to stop the exam when you close it. I hope children you have understood this. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, subscribe this channel to watch the upcoming videos. Thank you. Have a good day.